Hey, Chris and Derek again for Penny's Hot Rods and Customs. Uh, next day of uh, tearing apart the uh, Model A. So we got the other, the other fender, the other side done. Basically the same issues. A little bit of rust there. And the uh, top of the fender here is rusted and someone bondoed over the crack. So, same little issue, nothing major so we're gonna continue stripping this we'll i'm gonna pull off the rad pull off the fender fender braces pull off the front bumper pull off the rear bumper and uh yeah start getting ready to probably pull i don't know if we'll pull the uh, probably won't pull the motor today but maybe mm -hmm. get it some stuff out of it out of there so and pull the windshield off pull this off and maybe see about stripping the roof maybe today. And getting rid of useless stuff like this. That was a weird ass design, I think. Hey, I'm not Henry Ford, but uh yeah. That we're gonna be replacing. Yeah, if you're honeycomb style. Yeah. So I think yeah, we'll uh, start ripping this off, unbolting those, and all the bolts are coming off pretty crappy. Uh, they, at least the fenders and the running board, Derek was saying there's like three or four different size bolts, lengths, uh, some of them are screws, uh, so you've just been basically cutting the heads off and because you can't, you can't, they're so rusted, so cut them out and punch them out. That's what we've been doing. Just gotta get rid of remnants of that stuff. But from the frame that I can see, it looks pretty good. No crack. Well, haven't looked at it too closely, but no cracks. So we'll get on her, and then we can start pulling the drums off. We got a, a drum puller, so pull that that stuff off, and uh, pull the brakes out, and at least get it and then put the drums back on and at least get it rolling a little bit easier because this thing's pretty hard to push with two people so we'll get to get on her hey right. lots of work Derek just finished grinding another bolt off. We got the center bolt off, or not off. This back mount, we had to cut it and it was rotten. The mount's rotten. We'll show you the mounts as soon as we find them. I'm trying to take the aprons off. And we found some other interesting stuff, like this frame horn is not Model A. That one is factory. This one's been welded on. It's thicker. So it was in an accident or something that was cut off and something from another year or another car was put on there, welded on there. Uh, I gotta give Derek a can with a wrench. So putting the camera down, we'll show you the other including uh, some nice stenciling on the rod. Hey, more struggling with body mount bolts. Uh, the rod. Some nice lettering on it. Surf Low, model 2829. But we're not using that. Yeah. Yeah, so back to this frame. It's been I guess it was damaged, so they cut it off and they welded this, put it over top, and then welded it on because it's 
thicker there than there. And it's wider too. So we're gonna we're gonna lop that off, put a cut one off a spare frame we have. Got the rear bumper off, the rear spare tire carrier off. That was where's the tire carrier? Oh, right behind me. This thing's been booger welded and yeah I'm not not sure if that thick piece is factory you model a people would know better but it looks like it's been welded nicely the rear bumpers were a pain in the butt butt to get off and that's all the body mounts are that body mounts the well, the wood's rotten that one just disintegrated it Yeah, it's two halves of them. Gonna need a wood body. body yeah. Body mount yep. Definitely. But I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what we're we're trying to convince Ryan to do with this thing, but. <laughs> we'll see. We're trying to convince Ryan to do a certain style with this. We sent him pictures, but uh, he hasn't really responded back to us. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Apparently, he's thinking. So, but it will not be getting chopped. No, but it is getting a flathead. Yeah, it's getting the flathead, 100% V8 flathead with a five speed just body wise we'll try and convince ryan to do a certain style yeah. hint we can hint do it the way we want <laughs> we could build this thing literally in a couple months as long as everything's here yeah as long as we get the parts yeah but Other than that, the body's in great shape. The back body mount here on that side was rotten. We'll have to see on the passenger side. The subframe's actually pretty good shape on this. Yeah. But as soon as we hear back from Ryan, you guys will know. Okay. Um, getting places. Welded it. Yep. Someone welded the running board brace on. Only this side. And there too. The other side, no. So we're drilling out the rivets and see if we can see. the welds aren't the greatest. So. Still solid enough. Just put your shoulder and get it. Yeah. Grinding it. Yeah, I think we'll be grinding some of the uh, weld off. So you might be wondering, why are we taking those off? Yeah. Well, we are going to run with no front fenders, no running boards. Um, we're going to put rear fenders on. I know that might seem silly, but that's what we're doing. And plus Ryan, that's what Ryan wanted. We tried to convince him nothing, but with the roads around here and the way he's gonna drive this thing, he settled on rear fenders only, so. Rear fenders, no front, no, so making it a little easier for us. Yeah. But probably, I'm assuming we're gonna keep it 
basically stock height for now. It may change once we get to that point, but yeah, just get the juice break. Yeah. But for now, we're just running rear fenders, no front fenders. Modified all the radius on Yeah. There's a bunch of modifying. Yep, change out the shocks, put new shock or newer shockish mounts <laughs> in there, and uh, but this side's all all the mount, body mounts are off. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna put holes in them or just forget it. I uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I think we'll just put a nice paint job on it. Split them, it. yeah. And every bolt seems to be a pain in the butt on this thing. Macro. Hoping I can just get it started under. Uh, yep. So all the brake rods are off already. So yeah. So. Probably... We have to talk to Ryan, but I'm think he's going to leave this for an axle. He can always uh, put a drop axle later if he wants, or in a month when we get to that point. But yeah, I think he. I think when when's Ryan picking up that motor? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. So he's picking up flathead Tuesday. Uh, so we're gonna get him to get go buy some motor mounts for it. Gonna go buy a Speedway bell housing adapter for an S10 five speed. I think we'll clean up over there. I get to build the motor. So. Yeah. I'm not sure how much we'll get into the motor, but we'll take the heads off and see intake off. Obviously, put apparently it comes with uh, adjustable lifters. So yeah. Thank you, Andrew, so. Yep, so we'll, those will be going in, and yeah. He's always happy how we built your flathead, so. Yep, as long as we don't have to tear it apart and bore it out, buy a stroker kit for it. <laughs> I don't know what this Buy new valves, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is going to prevent us, or keep us from trying to fix all this crap. So, yeah, good read it. They can get all in the two. It might actually have this done in the fall time. Yeah. I can't see why not. Yep. Yeah, so the first thing we'll do is basically, well, after the motor's gone, put the flathead in temporarily, get all that mounts, mounts all in, then pull it out, start cleaning up the frame. We're just going to wire wheel the frame. Give it a nice paint job, brush, spray, can, whatever. Start on the body anytime. Just give it a big orbital sanding. Give it a very good epoxy primer on it. Yeah. And then high build the crap out of it. Give it a little block sand and... And get new glass. Yeah. Yep. I'm worried about that break. <sighs> Pull off the tank, see if that's usable. Yep. And the hood hang or the door hang are good. Yep. Yep. Okay. And that line's pretty damn good to me. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's fine. For Model A, perfect. Yep. Even though this is the first Model A I worked on. So but I'm an expert on Model A, so <laughs> <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, getting there. Just little, little things for Ryan and us to buy for this thing. But I think he's using these rims. I'm not sure. But yeah, that might change from day to day. And we'll get the grinding some. Uh, Shitty-ass welding.
Okay. The other one's off. Derek just took a pipe and drilled it out and, and then took a pipe on it and hit it. And this one we pounded. He managed to pound out the top one. That one's drilled out. That one just ground it off and it's been all welded here. So Derek's just going to see if he can... Uh, Use brute force and oh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Oh, not. Okay. Mm, nope. Apparently, that one's not, not as easy. Fudge. Man, that one just snapped off like nothing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm not. I get anything started. No, you're pretty solid. Sorry, folks. <laughs> this one apparently is the hard one. Yeah. I don't, know. Piece of leverage on it. I don't know if you want to drill out that. Right. Maybe the better guy welded it on this side. Yeah. On this one. That'd be Corey on the phone. Yeah, for sure, Corey. Oh, I didn't know it by yeah. See, uh, finishing it off tomorrow. Oh yeah. <sighs> Your little bit you threw over here. Oh, oh there it is. If this damage happened the same time as the rear quarter, probably. I'm probably gonna say when it was hit on the side. It was probably running some rum down the back roads of Manitoba. <laughs> Wouldn't you mind? Someone ran into a ditch with it. <laughs> oh, heated up from being welded. Welded? Oh, uh, made that, it hard. I think that welding is on there better than the other side. Wood mount fell out. Okay. Uh, yeah. I may have to get the torch out. Yeah. I think I'm having a battle with this for today. Yep. <sighs> it's so muggy out. I'm calling it quits for today and get back at this. 
we did quite a bit. Next today. weekend. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully next weekend is not as humid out. It's like 30, 31, 32 degrees Celsius, I think, and which is, I don't know. Whatever that is, like, oh. 90s, easily, in Fahrenheit. 30. Oh, we're, we're just uh, straight under 30. What about 90 above? 90? Okay. 90 and it's humid so it yeah. makes it hot warmer and <laughs> sweatier than most cats asses yeah well you might wonder why am i holding a muffler i'm wondering that myself <laughs> anyways uh thanks for watching and uh so, like always subscribe uh, uh tell your friends share comment ask us questions Hmm. Yeah. I'm still wondering. <laughs> See you next time.